Ladies and gentlemen, the Patriots won another Super Bowl. It's as if we couldn't guess. I, I just don't It understand. happened again. This, this, was, was, this was their year. This was the year to stop them. And uh, if they were ever going to be stopped, this was it. Granted, I'm glad it wasn't the Rams that stopped them. But, but they did it again. If, if anyone could have done it, it would have been great. Now Tom Brady just got six rings. Going on seven. And he's not sad. done yet. He's quitting when he sucks. Which uh -huh. he looked like he kind of did. But, you know. Still got matter. it. Did enough to win. You know? Did enough. And we're did sad. enough. Honestly, probably should just pick them for the next three years to get a Super Bowl because there's <laughs> really no point in betting against them at this point. Hey, I'm okay with it. The only other no. team that can stop them now is the we're Chiefs. sad. Today we are sad. Today I, we are sad. Blaine Listen, is this sad. is Listen, a very special, very sad episode. We can be happy that the Rams. Of what? Minnesota. Oh my gosh, stupid ads! I thought I had my bottom off. We're very professional here. Leave it in. I don't even care. No, it was sad. It was Noah's fault. <laughs> it was Noah's fault. So, but we're um, sad. Okay. Let's, I'm not sad. I'm sad. We should, I, we should all okay. be sad. We should all be sad I'm happy only because it was the Patriots that won. It was a boring Super Bowl. Oh, oh yeah. No, that, that, that's like, the L. Like, all the way from the beginning like, yeah. to the halftime show to the end. And Even the know. people who are happy that the Patriots won must be like, eh, it's kind of it's kind of boring. And, like, the media is defending, oh, my gosh. Like, yeah. It was a, it was a. I went on a little bit of a rant earlier about so this. Sad. But, like, it, it was starting to tick me off because... Like, oh, it's a defensive these, battle. I, well, yeah, well, it was well, like the, these big people are like, "Oh, what? You were complaining, but you still watched it." Yeah, because we were waiting for something exciting. Yeah, to happen, and it never. It's did. like the Super Bowl is the largest televised event of the year. You're gonna watch it in hopes that it's something memorable. Oh, yeah. Right. You and don't. It, you don't just like stop watching the Super Bowl. And I mean, straight up, last year's game was so fun to oh, watch. Oh, it was Gosh, amazing. It was so fun. Great. Yeah. And this, the year before was amazing. Yeah. But yeah. see, like I mean, we were depressed, but it well, happened, yeah. <laughs> and it was amazing that it happened. Yeah. And I mean, like even even when the Patriots won back in 2014, they came down to the last play. Yeah. And we all were like, "Oh my gosh, the Seahawks are gonna beat them!" And then they didn't. They didn't. But should have ran it. 2015. I mean, yeah, that was 14. Was it 14? There's yeah. a 14 season, but 14 like, season. Well, it, yeah. It's yeah. the same thing. Nonetheless, but was, yeah. Like it's not even that it was a defensive battle. The offense is just looked bad. exactly. It's not yeah. like you were stopping I mean, high powered Tom Brady. It's that Tom Brady didn't need to be stopped. Yeah, he didn't look good. Like, same thing opening, with Jared Goff. His opening pass was a pick, and it just it might have been a miscommunication, which is what people were saying. But it did not. It was a lame duck no, of I, a five yard pass. I don't care. Kevin Hogan, he did not play well. Chris, no, it's is it Chris? Chris, Hogan. Chris the, Hogan, the receiver. The Kevin yeah. Hogan. What? He's a he's a quarterback. He used to oh, be yeah. Oh, Kevin Hogan's Stanford. But he yeah, yeah, yeah. No That's longer. a quarterback, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Troy. Chris Hogan. Um, Chris Hogan did not play well at but, no. Also, oh, no. I think the whole Chris Hogan thing is whenever he got the ball, Brady didn't even throw it. Like, they were all bad passes. They weren't great too. passes to him. So they it had... wasn't all his fault. Yeah. Not all his fault, but like. Brady. Some of them should have been caught. There were a few that hit his hands, but they would have been good catches. So let's talk about. Let's just talk about the Rams. You know, what about them? Wait, wait, their defense maybe? Did the Rams show up? I don't know. I think <laughs> no, they did. They put three on the board. Well, I'll take that no, no, back. No, no, their no. special teams unit showed up. Their Greg special team Greg. special teams Greg showed up missed except for field goals. Hecker set a record for longest punt in the Super Bowl. Yeah, they Hecker. had a lot of there practice. Was, there were some great punts, like it's for the brand though. And that was the only good thing about the game was yeah, the, yeah. the kicking was good at Pat. NFL. Let us let us <laughs> give punters. <laughs> The MVP. Yeah. Like when we were voting it. for the MVP, <laughs> you couldn't see punters, and I know a lot of people on Twitter were not very happy that. They I don't couldn't think vote they expected Hecker. a punter to even be in consideration. Like punters' can... lives matter. Oh, they do. <laughs> punters are they were the yeah. best players. I mean, Julian Edelman, credit where credit was due, he went off. Oh my gosh! Like yeah. as as much a guy can go off in this very boring game. Sony Michelle had a pretty good game. You know, little 18 carries, 94 yards, touchdown. Keeps adding up those touchdowns in the postseason. Yeah. Then, what? <laughs> that's just six touchdowns in the postseason. Oh, okay. I so thought... Like, you know, for a rookie, I was going to say, like, good. he's a rookie. He doesn't have that many. <laughs> but this season, it's impressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was, that was good. Uh, there was a touchdown set up, uh, yeah, like a yard out touchdown set up by a great Rob Gronkowski catch. He has, like, one big play of the game. He had an all right day for a six catches, 87 yards, but... Are you talking about Gronk? Yeah. I mean, it was pretty good considering... Oh, no, it was... It yeah, was considering... Uh, Gronk is spotty sometimes. Like, he's, in, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, he's been spotty as of late. He but, like, as of late, no, yeah, no. Here's the interesting thing. You look at the... Uh, 
receiving stats for the Patriots, and two players combined for over 200 out of Tom Brady's 262 yards. So Edelman had 141, Gronk had 87, the next was 15, then 14, then 5. That was it. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that uh, Patterson catches, I think... At least one of them was just the little screen. Type yeah, well, stuff. I, it was. A, they were both screens, but I'm pretty sure one of them wasn't. It's just like a pitch yeah, to him in front of him, sure. so it counts as a pass. Does it count? Uh, yeah. The thing that really as long as it leaves his hands and it's in front of him, it's a pass. Oh, yeah. in front of him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The it's thing like, that surprised me though was like earlier last week I said James White was the X factor, but James White. Yeah, he didn't even show. Where up. Yeah, bud. I said Cordero Patterson. He only had yeah, two runs. Have a great game. I well, mean, I said Jared idea. Goff, so... Uh, I mean, James White had one catch for five yards, and, like... Can, can we just say Jared Goff is bad? He's not bad, but he's not I mean, great. 229 yards. Ma- is, those were all in garbage. Yeah. I mean, I guess... Well, there's garbage. Garbage. It's but, like, like, but it was still garbage but, time at And it was also game. still 50% pass completion, which is just definitively not good. I which, mean, it was... But again, the, he's the youngest, one of the youngest to ever... Actually, he is the youngest yeah, to make yeah. it to the Super Bowl, or second youngest. Is it Damn. still been around? Kaepernick for... was... Like no third year. It wasn't Kaepernick. Wasn't Kaepernick Robinson really was like second or third year? Yeah. yeah, he was the youngest first round, like yeah. first yeah. overall yeah. number draft. one. Yeah, yeah. And but like so obviously, and he's going up against a dynasty in the Patriots. Oh, he's yeah. gonna get rattled. Their defensive line played amazing. Like, the Patriots did. It was both, both teams defensive. We gotta line. give oh, really, yeah. really, really really give good. credit to Belichick. Like how he played out the defense and stuff. They shut down that range. Oh, they well, got was, out coached. I was listening to the radio and they were saying that all throughout the season the Patriots had been running zone, and then this game they switched it up and ran ran mostly man. man. And it's it was crazy. like, when you're doing your homework, it's like, okay, they've run zone. I, I'm pulling the stat out of the thin air or whatever. Like, oh, they've run zone 70% of their plays. We're going to see a bunch of zone today. And then it's just like, no. Yeah. You it's don't the, get to game plan It's the this. genius of It's insane that you can Bill. just switch the entire defense like that. I mean, straight up, Bill Belichick. You, got, you have to respect the man. Even if you don't like him, even if you don't like the way he coaches it, or talks to I, I give him more respect uh, than Tom Brady for the wins. I mean, fair. I, mean, I think Brady deserves a lot. I mean, of... it's like the brain and the brawn, I guess but you like, could say. Okay, I, I'll, I'll make the argument. A lot of people are giving the Bengals crap now for hiring Zach Taylor. Because they're like, oh my gosh, look at how they play. They only put up three. Well, I just made a joke, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, they only put up three points in the Super Bowl. It's, it's just, just like, he got outplayed by Bill Belichick. But he's not the offensive coordinator. Like, he's period. the quarterback's coach. Yeah, exactly. So it's how, not can like... you, how can you blame the quarterback's coach yeah. when at one point in the game, Jared Goff was 5 for 15 for like 70 yards in the third quarter, I think. So it's just like, how do you – it just depends. Like, for your coach and your, your quarterback, your player has to – your player has to produce – yeah. And like, trust me, I was I was in that same boat as you. Oh my gosh, Belichick is all Brady, but like, you have to have the guy there to make the plays. You do. And like, granted, you can make a system perfect for the guy. I mean, look at look at um, look at Brissett. Brissett did he did all right in New England? He, and he did all right yeah. in Indianapolis. Or, I mean, look at Garoppolo this year. He did not play well for the first few he games. He did not play. <laughs> no, I'm talking about he the first got few broke. games. <laughs> yeah. He did get broke, but, yeah. but he didn't look great the first few games. We need to give credit to Sean McVay. I mean, like, second year, yeah. led him to the Super Bowl. Controversy or not, I mean, dude's a brilliant yeah. coach. I mean, oh, he, yeah. he got oh, outcoached, yeah. you know. He said it, but, like, everyone wants to find the next Sean McVay, but there's not can one you? Right and, and a lot of people want to blame, like, obviously I'm – I have misplaced anger towards the Rams for that blown call, but it's not their fault. Hey, that's why I rooted for the Patriots. Well, well, yeah, but like <laughs> straight they, up, they I, didn't make the call. They I didn't. think I think they all knew that it was a horribly like, blown what call. What are you gonna do? What can you do? Well, yeah, you but just say, you I don't want to go. You don't, yeah. you don't go up to the podium <laughs> after that, no matter how like respectful oh, yeah. guy you are. You don't go up to the podium and you're like, oh yeah, that was a missed call. You go, well, it's not my place. We have a game to prepare for. Yeah. Like they handled it the best way they could. Drew Brees would have. Drew, well. <laughs> <laughs> Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Well, like, no one else would have done like, that. And, like, people were giving me a hard time for rooting the Patriots, but, like, I was still butthurt about it, even though they didn't cause it. Yeah. I wanted to. I mean, I had my own so I don't, I don't blame. I don't blame the Rams, but I also am not a – I hate L.A. sports. Oh, me too. No offense, L.A. I love Mike like Trout. It. He's in that yeah, area. You need to leave and just go somewhere else that's yeah. not the Yankees. Oh, speaking of oh, California, gosh. did you see the uh, – I think the Raiders are going to play in San Diego. I heard San Francisco. San Francisco, Francisco yeah. sorry. Next year. This oh. next year. Wow, Great. that's gonna be a quick turnaround. Yeah, and then they're gonna go to Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Possibly. 
Awesome. Wait, is that like so a the, done deal? Uh, wait, wait. So you're building the pretty, stadium right now. So you're saying the San Francisco thing is just a one-year deal? Yeah, Probably. because 2020 is where they go to L. Why don't they Vegas. just stay in Oakland for a year? Uh, I don't know. They like should. literally one year in San Fran? I don't know. Like what are you going to do about merch? You're going to make all this merchandise? That's you're gonna telling get me Marshawn Lynch and... didn't change their mind? <laughs> I, hey, speaking of Marshawn Lynch, is he done? He's done. Is he yeah. He's done. Is, is, is Gronkowski, Gronkowski done? I think yes. he is. I mean, like, the be. last time he had an interview was talking about, like, you know, like, his body and, like, how it affects you and everything. He's been injured so much. He has three rings. Like, why not just... Re- just end it. I yeah, mean, he I could come be... back and be like, all right, but, like... End the I career. Think, I think he's... Done. I think it'd be a little bit silly on his part to keep going, especially since he has had, a re- very recently, a very bad history of injuries. It's time yeah. to hang it up. You have he, nothing left to prove yeah. compared to what you could possibly gain. He's obviously a great like, tight end. I mean, you got three rings. What are you gonna yeah, do? yeah, yeah. Did you, did you see his post-game interview, by the way? No, he it was great. He, you remember the season that he uh, they won the Super Bowl? I think it was twenty fourteen against the Seahawks. Okay, and then he got injured when they played the Falcons. Uh, like yeah, that yeah. season, he only played like half that season. Yeah, <laughs> and he was like, "Well, going in this game, they were they were giving me a hard time because they only gave me that ring as a half a ring. So like coming in this game, I only had one and a half rings. But since we won tonight, they let me have one and a half rings. So now I have three rings. That's pretty good. Nice. I love that, him. This sounds so like something Gronk would. He had a really great playoffs. This like yeah. he didn't have a whole lot of catches, but he blocked like an offensive lineman a lot of the time. I think he can go out on top. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I don't see any reason to come back. And we already know Brady's coming back. But uh, let's talk about some players that apparently um, exist. Well, apparently what? decided to retire during the game. What happened to Todd Gurley? Ten carries and thirty-five yards. At least he had ten carries this time. I did say on the last episode that if you shut down their run game, the Rams are done. You have like yeah, what they did. Carries. He had one yeah. catch for negative one yards. See, the thing is, that Jared Goff is good at the play action. You know, like when Todd Gurley is going, Jared yeah. Goff they was kept great. running that. They kept running. Yeah, that. and then like, like the Patriots shut. But that they couldn't run. Down. They couldn't run, and then Jared Goff had to actually throw the ball and. He didn't look good. No, no. Like, he did. I mean, I was like, oh man, all he, of his throws, and I was just like, and it wasn't just Gurley either. C.J. Anderson only got twenty-two yards yeah, on I seven know. carries. Yeah. There, there was just not a lot of running happening for them, compared to Sonny Michelle going for ninety-four yards and Rex Burkhead going for forty-three. I was really happy to see him like playing that well. Jordan Edelman had that one, uh, one yeah, carry for eight yards. Had eight yards, but I mean. Here's something I didn't really notice during the game. Brandon Cooks, eight catches, 120 yards. He got a lot of that in the last drive. I oh, think. my gosh, yeah. yeah. I didn't even... Did you see that catch, though? Oh, yeah. He he, nice catch. Wow. It was like... It was, only I highlight like he for really, the really wanted to have the ball thrown to him more because he really, really wanted to beat them. But Yeah. yeah. But uh, Hey, he didn't get knocked out this year. The good thing is there's no controversial calls. No, I was really surprised by that. Today, because exactly. nothing happened to have well, controversy yeah. about yeah. it. They like, got the one call when, like, Shoney Michelle was short and, like, third in inches or something, and they got that call right. And then yeah. other than that, yeah, no, nothing, that, was, that was a very good nothing call. Nothing really happened. Do they need to change any of the rules going into the next season? Do they need to look at the way they – They need to look, look at the way they call yes. um, the roughing the passer because that's just getting things. ridiculous. Do we need some sort of instant replay system for, like – I think they're trying to look at something like Listen, that. Listen, I think – I don't think they need to do anything to slow down the game even more because that's – and I get that the, that's the main argument against it. Well, the viewer, the viewership drop is dropping, like not a lot, obviously. Actually, the NFL is doing this. Well. Was one of the was up this year. The, well, okay, but like but the yeah. Super Bowl was one but, of the lowest yeah. viewed so, Super Bowls of all time. So I, so long. I I wonder. It's L.A. Yeah. If you have if you have this replay system, this potential theoretical replay system, what if you just had like you know how they always like. Whenever there's a call, they like throw it to their studio in New York or whatever, yeah. and they ask, "What's your take on this?" Like, if there's already people crunching, like looking at these plays, Let them... looking at all the camera angles, why can't they just have that process right. going so that oh, we need to challenge this play, New York? Yeah, okay, the play got overturned. Yeah, ten seconds, it's done. Well, like, and it honestly, if they want to do that, I think they should limit it. it yeah, means, like, like I like I said with like a potential challenge like, flag, it, like throw yeah, a challenge yeah. flag for a penalty, you get two a game or. T- to a half or whatever. I, I feel like that'd be totally fine. I think it would... If it slows it the game down by a total down. of five minutes, yeah. like, that's a lot. Right. Yeah. And there's already, like, tons of reviews in a game anyway, so yeah. they might that's as it. well... They might as well slow it down. 
even a little bit more just to just to make all the controversy. Right. I think the whole catch thing kind of got cleared up. There wasn't anything bad with catching this year, which is good because that's the first time. I mean, I still sometimes don't know what a catch is, but (laughs) well, yeah, no one. There was there was there was that one in the Eagles Bears game that that was a fumble, but since the ref picked it up, they had to. See, that's what I don't like is when they just down, blow the which was when really they blow weird. the play dead. Yeah, you know? like they did that with the Browns and Ravens. I mean, they've done that several times where it's like a fumble and they're like, "Nah, we just blow it dead." Yeah, it's like that. Why? That was really that was really the only thing, obviously, except for the just completely blown call because there was absolutely no reason for that. The rules are right in the case of the pass interference. It's just they didn't see it for some reason. And they did have the one roughing the passer, which was pretty ridiculous, where they touched Tom Brady's head, and that was a penalty. <laughs> yeah. And that pre- all but lost the game for the Chiefs. That and being off sides on the interception. Which he was clearly off. Oh, I can't believe yeah. that happened. D Ford. But, but yeah. uh, honestly, like if they, if they do that to where it's just one or two challenges a game for a bad call, I honestly don't see coaches abusing that no. at all. And if you put them on a limit, they can't abuse it. Yeah, exactly. So and I, maybe, what if it's like... I wish they would do that for baseball. Or what if they... Like, we have the baseball. technology. We have no reason not to do yeah. this now. So that we can take away that level of variance and just have the games based on player skill. Yeah, period. Exactly. We what have they, technology to use it. What if they did down... They can only use the flag down in two minutes of the game, two minutes of each half? Mm, I don't like that because then it... Like, you can have a really impactful play on a drive in the 10-yard line yeah. the first two minutes of the game that's still, like, you lose Fair. by three points Fair. at the end, and it's like, oh, they should have scored that touchdown, you know, the first drive of the game. You see John Simon's one stat is the pass deflection on that third down. <laughs> it, was a, it was a big play. Good for him. He got a ring now. Speaking of Ohio State, am I the only one who wanted to uh, see Tom Brady or Jared Goff, like, on a fourth and one, pull it and run it for one, for one yard? Why not? That would have been awesome. That would have made my well, night. I was hoping off. for a fake punt. Like Johnny Hacker getting a little <laughs> I, I feel like, I feel like they punt. needed some kind of yeah, spark. It was, but they were never close enough to There was to no like, Philly yeah. special, sadly. Yeah. Now, can we talk about a really, really fun stat that I uh, I uh, is really hold I hold near and dear to my heart about this game? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I am now 2-0 and in picking the Super Bowls the last two years. There's a 25% chance of that happening, <laughs> in fairness. Yeah, yeah. 50% one for one year by 50% yeah. next year. Yeah. Math. Technically. Hey, I mean, it's impressive. Too. I'll give you that. Although, I will say, we all of our picks for the score oh, yeah. were, <laughs> we were all <laughs> wrong. wrong. Mine was hot garbage. We were all wrong. Like, how could we expect an entire year of offensive explosion yeah. turns into one of the worst offensive well, like games. It wasn't Rams, defensive. It was off poor offensive the, games. The Rams like average points per game this season was like 33 or something. Which is ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. I, I, what the? Man, if the Chiefs would have oh. made it, this would have been way more exciting. Oh, I, would, yeah. I would just like to say though, um like I se- I think since the Rams played the Chiefs in what was it? Week 8? Something like that. It was like midway through. Where it was 51 or 54 51. And I think after that, defense is adjusted. And, like, I can I can remember, like, everybody at the beginning half of the season, oh, my gosh, look at these offenses. Look how many yeah. points they're putting up. But after that game, the defense is started stepping up. I think that's when the Ravens started playing really, really, really well. But, like, and, like, the Bears picked it up going down the season, like, especially, like, down the stretch. It was a shame that they lost that game so close. It's like, it would have been fun to watch them play, like, their defense – down the in the playoffs, but like I don't know, it was really cool to see the the shift after the Chiefs played the Rams. Because I still like defense. Like I know everyone's yeah. all about the gun ho offense type thing, but yeah. like yeah, I mean as a Ravens fan, they've always had great defenses, and I just love a good defensive battle. Sometimes right. you can always get enjoyment out of watching good defenses. Like my favorite games to watch, like back when Ohio State played defense, was. They used to shut teams down because oh, yeah. that was Big Ten football. Oh, yeah. Nowadays, not so much, and I'm okay with them scoring 75 points, but... If, as long as they don't allow 76. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Speaking of facets of the game, um, let's talk about special teams. Like, like we talked about it a little bit in the game, but like they played so well. Like but, even Except for the two fi- missed field goals from two legendary kickers. Which is crazy. The punters, yeah, the punters had a, had a 
What a good time. Also, can I drop a subscribe to PewDiePie? In the... Oh my gosh, yeah. That, they were, did you not did see you did that, that happen? Yeah, that like, happened. there when wasn't a Gostowski commercial. When Gostowski missed, okay. the, missed the field goal, yeah. there was a guy with a shirt on. There was a, a bunch on. of guys that had sub to yes. PewDiePie behind the... Okay. It was, I think it was Mr. Beast. Okay. Like they well, got see, him. Mr. Beast was supposed to get a ad. Yeah. He was trying to... Trying that to unfortunately did not happen. I didn't... Tragic. Honestly, I feel like even if he tried, the NFL wouldn't allow that, but... Speaking of YouTubers being in freaking commercials... Why the heck was Ninja in the because NFL of 100? Juju? I don't I don't, care. I don't care. Juju, quit being friends. It was with the okay. Ninja. In fairness, I think it was a tasteful cameo, despite like it's not like he was like, oh look at me, I'm Ninja. Oh yeah, no, like in the he was in it for like half a in second. the clip that they had on Twitter. It was like a long thing where everyone yeah. was like, oh look, it's Ninja. It's like okay, nah, they, he, they he showed up for half. a Yeah, second. they didn't do that in the actual commercial. So I, that was honestly I the thought best it was commercial good. tonight. Yeah, I like, you know really what? Good. Speaking That's of also commercials. Talking about commercials. All the commercials were garbage too. Yeah, yeah. There's most nothing of, redeeming about this Most of them were about robots. There yeah, were a lot what of was robots. It? I saw someone on Twitter like he was going like, uh, Super Bowl robots, commercial robots. Like he kept like we had so many commercials with robots in it. Also, continuing to rant about other stuff that was happening in the Super Bowl. Oh my god! The halftime show. It was terrible. Rune Five, just sing "Sweet Victory." That's all we wanted, yeah. Adam. Yeah, Come yeah. on, man. Yeah. In we fair, didn't want did... to see you shirtless. We wanted to see SpongeBob. Uh, I wanted hey, to see hey, you hey, shirtless. Hey, hey. <laughs> he took a shirt off to save the shirtable halftime. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw in a hot point, music, a hot music opinion because I like music and stuff. You know, um, I don't like Numero and Five. Numero and Five sucks. Agreed. Yeah. Their last two albums have sucked. I'm really but glad they played. Songs about Jane is a great, great oh, album, and they, they played off of it. They played a lot. And I was just like, mm, which was very good. Which was what you needed to do. And our boy Troy Gant has just arrived into the building. Oh, just time we're talking about the crap halftime show. Yeah. And just like Jesus, I have the time. There <laughs> <laughs> you go, Troy. Yeah, Troy is uh, Troy is coming back. He's missed one and a half podcasts now, but we're super glad. We already back. had our moment of silence. Yeah, we, we, we do. Uh, and we, we played taps. Play do you want to say anything about the Super Bowl yeah. before we move on? Uh, well, hey, hold on. And welcome to the Troy Gant Corner. Oh, yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. What's your hot take on the Super yeah, Bowl? What is Troy your hot Gant? take? Hot take on the Super Bowl, not a bad game. Oh, oh, really? Look, if you were a fan of defense, that was an absolute beautiful game. But, what? but, 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 I'm not a fan of defense. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's uh, put some points on See, that. we were talking like it wasn't a defensive game, it was just a poor offensive game. I don't think the offense has played well enough to call it a defensive game. I think it was great coaching. Well, the coaching, was, well, not on the offensive side, but sure. How's Goskowski not get MVP? How does, how does a punter, either one, I would have taken it. The Allen guy. Oh my god! You think okay? Do you think if the the uh, Patriots would have just won six three, they'd never scored a touchdown? Do you think think a special teams? I think Goskowski gets it. (laughs) I think there would have been a rage. It would have been an interesting if uh, if somehow Tom Brady would have got it. I would have been really mad because Tom Brady didn't have a great. I wonder how many votes he got for MVP. Probably a ton, just because of who he is. I'm glad they at least gave it to somebody other than Tom Brady. Yeah, Yeah. Tom Brady is that great. I think Edelman Edelman is easily number three on my list of who deserves it behind the punter and kicker. Like like that uh that Super Bowl, the last one the Ravens were in. Like if Ray Lewis won that MVP, I was gonna be so mad. He like three tackles. I was like, I get it's his last year. Now can I? mention something about Julian Edelman winning the MVP he's now won three Super Bowls and this last one he won the MVP do you know who else did that the only other player that comes to mind is Jerry Rice that's crazy yeah, are we comparing Julian no, Edelman no, and Jerry no, Rice no, now because that's literally what you just did. Well, see, oh, yeah. the sad thing is, is I've seen stuff on social media about people saying we need to talk about Edelman being a future Hall of Famer. Uh, he is the yeah. new face of the I, Super Bowl Most Valuable Player Award uh, tw- uh, Wikipedia page. So, I wow. would, I would but like, say, why is he Ray not Garcia in the Hall of Fame? Now? Why is he not yeah. in the Hall of Fame? Conversation. Let's remember, he did do steroids as well. He Ooh, did. started the year with that. Yeah. Yeah. Wonder why he did so he well. He only comes to life. Yeah, he was well rested. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's with and juice? <laughs> what's with Patriots getting uh, suspended and then winning the Super Bowl? It, yeah, Josh Ooh, Gordon gets a ring. Josh Gordon gets Josh a ring. Josh Gordon gets a ring. Pretty sure I'm pretty, he, does. he was on the team. No, I was for, talking about. Do you have to play for a certain number of weeks? Like at least half the game. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Like I know in the NBA, if you play half the season, yeah, that's what mm-hmm. I was yeah. wondering. You yeah. have to play a certain. Yeah, I don't know how much. Because but... like 2016, Bear could have got yeah. a ring no matter what. Oh like, yeah. The Warriors or the Cavs won. Yeah, I feel like he <laughs> got. He didn't get it from the Cavs though. Yeah, he didn't take. I was it. I was just trying to talk about like how in the Atlanta Super Bowl that season, Tom Brady was suspended four games. Julian well, Edelman yeah. this year 
suspended four games. So really, so, if you're Bill Belichick, make somebody fall on the sword before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so for only four games. Let's, only four. Let's also talk about this. Uh, if we're going to talk about MVP, interesting fact. What? What are you shaking your head? You're shaking your head. What do you think I'm going to say? Uh, uh, go ahead. Just what do you think I'm going to say? Go I ahead. honestly don't know what you're saying. Yeah, so just, just spit it out. Julian Edelman uh-huh. mm-hmm. is the first wide receiver mm-hmm. since you know who. Oh. Toe tap and Santonio Holmes, I'm okay followed with it. again by Heinz Ward. Oh, I thought we were two gonna, Steelers players. I thought we were going to talk about how Nick Foles is. Still yeah, alive. I was going <laughs> <laughs> to. Nice quarterback throw a touchdown. Where's the, where's the Nick Foles guy, man. We got to throw that in there though. Nick yeah. Foles, last quarterback to throw a touchdown in the Super Bowl. Still yep. great. And then still next year, still he, here. Then I'm sorry, still <laughs> here. And he's coming still back here. next year. Next year, I'll probably throw like four. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it could happen. I mean, he probably uh, with a different team. Well, he's got to get past the Giants first. <laughs> He'll be in a different okay. Dolphins. He'll be playing for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Probably the Dolphins. Change. Yeah, a uh, quick note. I heard all the Eli slander last week. <laughs> <laughs> you're all dead to me. <laughs> hey, but you're still here. <laughs> Should I like to make you a bet right now? What? Right? Oh, jeez. If Nick Foles goes to play for the Jacksonville Jaguars, you should buy a jersey. I'll t- that- yeah, easy, easy. The problem is it's a, it's I, I, a Jacksonville it's a Jags Jags I like their, jersey. I like the. I like their. You jeans. like their jer- really? Yeah. I don't know. I'm not a fan. They're, they're, they're flashy. Not they're their flashy. colors. They, uh, no, not those mustard <laughs> yellow. Oh my god. Horrible. <laughs> but it's better than their old helmets, though. Yeah, those the, were rough. The faded into the mustard yeah. garbage. Yeah, Gross. That was, yeah, that was rough. Just, just all black. Just yeah. yeah. No, those look good. I like those. With a jaguar. But jaguar. 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 <laughs> if Nick Foles is the starting quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles next year, I will buy an Eagles jersey of Nick. What about if he goes to a different team which has the Jags? Then it's a wash. <laughs> <laughs> Jags, Jags only. I'm good with that. Right. Interesting. You gotta shake him. Uh, so uh, be mad about it's, that. It's he recruit. also was gonna buy in the Dominican shoe jersey if he had a pick six. Oh yeah, straight up. If James was like, all right, right here, and Dominican Sue's gonna get a pick six. I was like. James, if Indomitian Sioux uh, gets a pick six here, I will buy the most expensive Indomitian Sioux jersey I can find. And then they didn't throw the ball. Yeah. Mm, that's a shame. Because that's what Tom Brady. Nah, he threw the ball a little bit, but. Yeah. So uh, we were talking about the Super Bowl halftime show and talking about how Adam, Adam Levine ruined it and Sicko Mode ruined it. No, it's it's, good song. Yeah. Well, no, listen. <laughs> you can't open with Sweet Victory yeah, and getting yeah, everyone was, all hyped up. That like, was the wrong way to do oh it. Oh my gosh, it's happening. And then all of a sudden, Sicko Mode starts. And you're kind of like, oh, are they going to like do a mashup thing here? And then it just didn't I play Sweet Victory okay at all. I would have but they're just like, yeah, no, they're just like, like knowledge no. it. And we'll just play just SpongeBob not. for a little bit and then be like, all right. Well, see, done. like, I like the lead in. I didn't. To the song like that, like that's a kind of a cool thing to do. But, but you, you have, can't do it with you that, have to do that sweet moment. Victory. You get, yeah. like that moment is too especially because they played it up like yeah. it was gonna be more than that. <laughs> like yeah, we all were. Uh, it was me, Darren, and Noah at the Super Bowl party. We were all like, "Oh my gosh, it's happening!" Yeah, we but got pretty hyped up. But um, you I let mean, us down. Can you imagine Adam Levine singing "Sweet Victory"? That would have sounded would have been nice. Good. He's a good singer. Like, I'll give it to him. He's a good singer. Probably should have went for it. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a Maroon Five guy. Yeah, I'm not sure. Old Maroon Five or New Maroon Five? Old Maroon Five. Sure. Mostly old. Will be okay. Okay. Will okay. Be. Every once in a while, they'll they'll sneak a heater in. <laughs> but most of the time, it's just Maroon Mitchell. Five just Adam Levine. So is it like? Yeah, I'm pretty Maroon. sure he just sings okay. over like EDM yeah. beats now. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know but what happened to the rest of the like, band. That's the thing. Is like the old. They had like actual instruments, and now it's just like. I like beeps. And I like how he music, carried but around like a guitar for like oh, 15 yeah. minutes, not playing it. But then he he's a really good guitar player too. So he had the guitar, and I was like, "Oh, this is gonna be sweet." And he just kind of carries nope, it around for a while. A little Ever bit, since like, a, little bit. a little bit, Adam Levine went to like the voice and stuff. Their music yeah. kind of just went. Yeah, he got he got preoccupied, and that was music talk. Yeah. <laughs> that was so uh, music um, po- music podcast coming out uh, next month. Uh, yeah. check out. So, so stupid music. So that pretty much sums up the Super Bowl. I mean, it happened. Patriots won. Right. We We're probably sad. shouldn't be surprised. Uh, the AAF coming on this weekend. That's um, so. We're not going to talk too much about it. Football, the but we're just going to American football, something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We we're don't. We gonna, don't know much about the teams, so we, we can't. Do Apollo. We should. We should. We should. Yeah. yeah. Why yeah. not? I'm not doing. I'm, I'm not doing anything. I don't have a way. That's good. Oh, cool. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll be watching it together. So I don't know. Follow us on Twitter. Maybe we'll be tweeting about it, or we'll forget. We'll definitely tweet about it. But yeah. I'm excited. Uh, it's actually going to be all of our favorite teams except Matt playing the first game. Okay. I got to be oh, different. What can I say? Legends tweeted that picture to Bob Robinson. Oh. oh, my God. He oh. got big. Yeah. He's wearing number 25 now. What, if you, what if you buy a 25 jersey? Come on. He's a big they – they're not really selling jerseys I yet. I know. Give him some time. I don't think they're – It's probably a good plan. 
until he gets on he gets back with the Jaguars because he yeah. blows up in the AF. Well, yeah, until Denard Robinson busts out a three thousand yard season this year. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, is it all purpose yards or is it just strictly rushing? Strictly rushing. Uh, they're oh, not wow. putting him back back in return, man. So, Look how, a, have you seen quarter, how big he is now? He was a quarterback. I was talking about he's got hands. <laughs> I was talking about receiving yards. Nah. Yeah, he doesn't have the best hands. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's happening. We're excited. Uh, should be some good good competition of people who are trying to fight their way back in the NFL or fight their way into the NFL for the first time. So we'll probably be talking about that next week. Hey, Cardell, where are you at? Why aren't you on the team? You're not playing for is the he NFL on, team. Is he on a practice squad right now? He might be. Maybe. Right. I, thought it, I thought he was on the Chargers. He was. He was. But Gino Smith, Gino Smith took him. his job somehow. I don't I'd rather have Carl. I don't know how that's possible. Yeah, that how, does, how do you continue to fail upwards, Gino? <laughs> <laughs> Oof. I didn't have a snap this year, though. So yeah, he fumbled it. Yeah. <laughs> it's one Is snap. It, do you have a question for us in the Troy's corner? Hold on, I'm sorry. I got to interrupt this. I looked up Cardo just to see where he is now. They have his nickname in here. 12 Gage. 12 Gage on his Wikipedia profile. I, mean, the Jack I love that. Uh, it says he's still on the Chargers, so he must just still, still be behind Gino. Now, Troy, do you have any question for us in the Troy's corner? Uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and move this away from football, if that's okay with you. Oh, so fellas. you guys are out. I like that. I like that. During NBA I mean, talk. I need to excited. talk about my boy, Nikola Jokic. Well, you just he's not good. Sure. <laughs> he's got such a punchable face. Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> you see him? His like, mouth's open the whole time he's playing. He's just, so oh. good. Okay. Yeah, but he can sling the ball around. Dude, he he's can. Like the best passer he's, in the NBA, right. straight up. Whoa! Coming oh, yeah. oh, yeah. the guy who's watched the NBA for three weeks, maybe. I just learned what basketball is today. <laughs> this this seven it? foot guy's the best. Here's basketball. my hat in the middle of the ring. <laughs> yeah, we saw Chris Paul or like you know yeah. Kyrie, okay. Kimba Walker, Kimba, Kimba. 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 literally like any point guard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway, oh uh, yeah, let's just move on from that. Right. Anyway, that was. All right. Uh, can we just officially? Say that the New Orleans Pelicans are just being a bitter, jealous girlfriend yes. right now. <laughs> it's. I think it's time to move on. Get get some draft picks. They're asking for like for the four future. to six, and I'm like, what team's dumb enough to offer four the, to six? The draft Lakers picks? were literally going to give them their entire team yeah. besides LeBron and two draft picks. <laughs> Honest, like, honestly, no, I, we want two more draft picks. Yeah. Like, come on, take what you can. Yeah, right. I mean, that's <laughs> a lot of young talent. They're all like. The only one who's still really yet to prove himself is Ball, but he can still be a good point guard for your team, even coming off the bench. And they offered Kuzma. LeVar Ball does not want Lonjo Ball to play for the Pelicans. That would be great if he was an NBA GM, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> he said that he, he, some he, he said his son uh, wants to stay with the Lakers, but it would have to be the Phoenix Suns. Why? I don't know. Of all teams. Well, the Suns don't have a point guard. Listen. But. Well, probably because the Suns have a younger core, too. They're on their way up. And the Pelicans. Well, who do the Pelicans have? Down. But it's, it's also all like, right. hey. Drew Holiday. Why is he speaking for his son? Well, that's why he's, he's done that for no, a while. No. That's Lonzo well, Ball. You obviously that's haven't been paying attention. Well, because Drew Holiday is I mean, in New Orleans. That. That's why he doesn't want to be. I get, Lonzo doesn't Lonzo? talk for himself. Yeah, LeVar is Lonzo's voice. Yeah, like. Shut like, up. Like, if you ever watch Shut WWE, up. like, Brock Lesnar has Paul Heyman who speaks for him. That's how it is with Lonzo. <laughs> Lonzo just stands there with his arms folded, just flexing. Well, how LeVar so, Wait, yeah. that is, is, it, is that actually Lonzo's decision, or is that LeVar's decision for Lonzo? That's how he was raised. I'm like, like, uh, I mean, there's a whole the parenting thing going around. Make your own yeah. decisions. Technically, this is not a parenting podcast, and no, we should move on. Technically, it's Magic Johnson's decision on where he goes. Fair. He can trade I mean, the, That's what I'm saying. LeVar Ball can <laughs> Say he wants them to go to Phoenix all at once, but yeah, Bell Johnson's like, "Hey, Bob, Pelicans said they wanted you." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly don't Bye. know why people wouldn't want to go to New Orleans. I mean, they don't it's a great city. Like that city has a lot of heart for its sports teams. Yeah, yeah. Like, even if you suck, they don't care. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, yeah. it's like Cleveland. Uh, rebuild their broken sure. heart from the uh, you know oh, championship well, game. Championship. And Davis would not even leave. Like we, you know, he might. He doesn't want to be there anymore, though. No, he doesn't. But he said he I, would play the rest of the year. Uh-huh. I I brought up a scenario to Darren earlier, and he didn't like it. I but, did not. Actually. You know, he was just screaming about how much he wanted AD. I and but <laughs> I gotta I gotta I gotta back myself up on this. Yeah, look, I'm telling you, they're I waiting. Did. They're waiting to trade with the Celtics. Yeah. No, the Celtics do have the best. Young. Jason, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Marcus Smart, two first round picks. But wow. they also, nice. but Danny Ainge also said that Jason Tatum's 
almost pretty untouchable, even in the I, I was going to say, AD is good, but Jason Tatum is yeah. on his way up. So, like, for me, at the beginning, I was like, all Jason right. Jason Tatum had one good year. And then, <laughs> and he's only been there one year. Well, that's, that's my thing. He's, he's already regressed this year. Uh, it's because so, Kyrie came back. I think I'm, I know, like, it's bad that, because, you know, you can get screwed. Like, they got, like, the Nets got screwed. Yeah, the with, Nets. You, oh, you know, that, that taking those established guys. But to me, 99% of the time, I'm taking the sure thing. Over what might be, but, but the me. thing is, Anthony <laughs> Davis doesn't want to be in Boston. His dad doesn't want. To yeah, be and he's not. I don't blame him. And he's not going to. And he's not going to resign in Boston. So why would you give up all those young cores for one year of well, Anthony Davis? Kawhi probably isn't going to sign with the Raptors. Okay, well that's because it's Toronto and they're they not be. a good sports. He's. It's looking better for them nowadays. But when they first signed him, it looked like he was just going to be there for one year, and then moving to L.A. Speaking of the Raptors, man, they just oh, like declined to trade with Mike Conley and Gasol for Balachunas and Lowry. Like, that would have been a, really interesting. It would have been. Honestly, it kind of seems like a lateral move to me. Yeah, it kinda, <laughs> like, you're, you're kind of trading the same thing for the exact my thing same is, person. Gasol is better than Balachunas, but to me, Lowry is better than Conley. But Lowry so. hasn't done much. In like the last couple of years, he's kind of regressed a little bit. And he's he's all right. I take, but I mean, they take Conley. Over well, the thing Lowry. is, they're like both the same age. They both have very both, similar games. Very yeah. similar. Both like both sides of them. Like I, Gasol is. I think Gasol is obviously better than Valanciunas, but like I, I feel like Lowry and Conley are so close that like the trade wouldn't mean anything mm. at all. So for either team. I don't know why they'd even offer that. Do we even know what Anthony Davis wants, or does he just want He wants want to go to L.A., out? I believe. They, they gave – there's an extended list of teams that he would re-sign with. Once, the Lakers, the Bucks, Ooh. I believe the Knicks. Why the Knicks? I heard they're bad. Everyone likes New York for some reason. Everybody wants to go to New York. So, but, like, their organization is no a York. mess. Like, it's a hot mess right Like the Browns? Yeah, they're, they're their front very, office very is just very bad. Yeah, yeah, like, the trade they just had, that, that was a weird... No, that, I, we can talk what they about did, that. What they did was smart, though. Yeah, I mean, cap space. Honestly, Porzingis fell out with the front office. He wasn't very happy. Yeah. So, I mean... They traded that, and now they have enough money next year to sign two max free agents. I think this. I think it's a pretty good move on both sides too. Yeah. I mean, the Mavericks were looking pretty good this year with Doncic and I guess everyone else around him. I mean, Got I feel like they would have liked to hold on to Dennis Smith, but I did he not want to be there either? I don't think he wanted to be. There. He didn't. I don't think he wanted to be in Dallas mm-hmm. anymore. But now you got Luca and Porzingis. And this team's actually looking like a really good playoff team now. Yeah, I mean, they got some solid pieces, too. Yeah. With, uh, I mean, they got Trey Burke and Courtney Lee. I mean, those, right. are, good. those are good off-the-bench players. I mean, and then, still show value. And then now the the Knicks have a lot of cap space. Everyone's already talking about these big players going to wanting to go to the Knicks anyway. I hope none of them go. No. <laughs> I just don't like New York. Well, here's the thing. Like Kyrie, this. Kyrie's going. Well, uh, the thing is, it's either Kyrie or Kemba, everyone's thinking. I don't think. You know, or no. KD, and I can't remember the other one. I think, they I think it's Kyrie. Every free agent's going to New York. I think York. it's Kyrie and Kawhi. Oh. I think Kawhi wants to go to the Clippers. That's possible, yeah. yeah. Which I don't understand either. Well, the Clippers they are actually su- kind of a surprisingly a good, good team this year. Yeah, but they're not. Going Patrick to. Beverly's still there? I think so. Yes. He's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. <laughs> Is he a cheese eating rat? No. No. No, he's, he's no. a dog. You're a cheese eating rat. Isn't like, <laughs> <laughs> isn't like Tobias Harris their best player? I feel like this is like a scavenger hunt. There's one cheese eating yeah. rat. <laughs> so, you gotta find him. Why Leonard's eating rat? Leonard would be Stay an upgrade. Stay for the cheese eating rat. <laughs> Leonard would be an upgrade over oh. Tobias Harris. Oh, so. Leonard would be an upgrade on any team, honestly. To me, I, I don't players. think... I would call this slander, I guess. <laughs> <But> <laughs> I don't think KD psyche can hold up in New York. Yeah. New York. Oh, they're pretty tough. Oh, New it's York. a tough environment. To they're pretty tough on their teams. Or New or York is built on just grit and toughness. And, and he KD is, gets his feelings hurt in San Francisco, the nicest place on earth. He's soft. <laughs> so, he is soft. So I just don't think his ego holds up in New York. Can yeah. KD win a championship on his own? Clearly not. I almost did with Russell Westbrook twice. Oh, that was on. What about the Thunder? The Thunder looked good. Paul George is like having a year. Paul George is the best he player needs on to that be team in the MVP conversation, and I feel like he's not because it's James Harden and everybody else. Yeah, it's kind of weird because if you asked me last year, Russ was definitely the better player yeah. between those two. But Russ? this year, 
PG is looking like a Paul, Paul George has now become the face of OKC. Even though Russell Westbrook, Westbrook recruited a better player, and I don't know how long he's going to be able to take that. Even though Westbrook has like eight triple doubles in a row, but that's what he triple, does, though. I, I don't care about triple doubles anymore. I don't. The games are like it was cool the first five year. hours <laughs> long. Yeah, first year. Yeah, of then. course, you're going to have enough time, especially when your team was padding your stats, yeah. which is – it happened – a lot. You guys are making a lot of noise. <laughs> what are you doing over there? Especially when you just got people pinging it off the rim the whole game. Still yeah. Your team can shoot. I, I, I'm, <laughs> not, I'm not impressed with your triple double. Great athlete. Great athlete. Like, oh my gosh. Terrible shooter. He's a freak athlete. Yeah. That, Can't shoot. The way that guy dunks is. He's he, mad at everybody. It kind of scares me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, I'm just watching it through a TV. And it I mean, when you look me. like a ninja turtle, you got to be able to move somehow. <laughs> he does. True. He it does look like a turtle. I wouldn't want to mess with him. Him and Rondo. Rondo looks like yeah. Rondo. They should team up. Yeah, maybe not. Probably kind of bad. No, they, they would hate team each team other yeah, so <laughs> much. <laughs> no way that would work. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> just stay with well, where Rondo just be beaming to. one-handed passes right at Russell's face. <laughs> <laughs> like Giannis did James Harden. Yeah, that was rough. So, in conclusion, the Golden State Warriors are going to win the uh, title again this year, and then maybe they'll break up, and we'll see something new. Let's not count the Cavs. Hey, did you see <laughs> the Cavs? Come on. You can't be that much okay. of a homer right okay. now. They're yeah. like the Honestly, I wish they would quit winning games. We won the other day. <laughs> yeah, right now, Curry? respect the talent. They're playing the New York right is below you. New York's fighting yeah. for that number yeah. one pick. Yeah, we keep winning games. We're not going to get Zion, right? Respect the talent. <laughs> Speaking of Steph I'll Curry, though, game. did you see him say, about the Patriots winning the Super Bowl, he's like, man, doesn't it get boring watching a team win Steve the championship Kerr. every year? He, I feel like he has. To, he, he had to be joking. Yeah, Steve There's Kerr no said that. Oh, wasn't that Steph Curry? Oh, oh Steve, Steve Kerr said it. Kerr. Steve Kerr is right. absolutely joking. Yeah, no. That's all that man does. Is yeah, I just wanted to clothesline that man. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing would have made me happier. Great Curry. Somebody just came out of the crowd and speared him right there. <laughs> <laughs> like Jamal Adams to the yeah. Patriots yeah. mascot. Yeah, that would have made me happier. Oh my gosh, did you see him going off on Skip Bayless? Freaking Skip Bayless. Anyone could. Gosh, he's an idiot. <laughs> I don't like we're Skip Bayless at all. Oh. I was yeah. going to say, you're just feeding him right now. <laughs> we're not you're feeding the troll. I hope he tweets at us. Oh, <laughs> I mean, that, <laughs> hey, that would give us a good line. Dude, I'd, I'd be, I would love it. But, um, I'd be on a show. No, I wouldn't. No. Show, so it's like, just be him yelling day. about how much he runs at you. I would literally only go on that show just to meet Shannon Sharp. <laughs> <laughs> Skip. 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 <laughs> just be saying it back and forth. <laughs> He just occasionally get a word in when he can, yeah, but he look. can't. Yep. Cowboys went sure oh, not sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, is there anything else going on in the sports world? Um, Baseball is pretty Matt, much. Any nothing. esports? Okay, cool. Yeah. Esports. Yeah, actually, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, no. actually, there was. No. Okay, what is it, Matthew? Yeah, two minutes. I got two uh, minutes. No, not even that. <laughs> hey guys, Boston College is beating Duke right now. Good Duke. Get out of time. Duke 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 uh, Overwatch League jerseys dropped, so you can buy a cool Matt 69 jersey for the Houston Outlaws if that's that too fancy. That it'd be pretty cool. nice. It also, be, Illinois is nice. beating Michigan State, just in case we want to keep talking about the basketball side of things. <laughs> keep keep going. We just want to get away from esports. Overwatch League starts in 10 days. That's my big esport. That's uh, it's, it's it's a big deal. How this much longer? Tele- tele- uh, hey, it's gonna be televised. Yeah, so, so, else? You know what? You want to know something better that starts what? in shorter matches? Baseball match starts. Baseball yeah, yeah. yeah. starts in no. seven. So, uh, well, all, yeah. Uh, right. what if, baseball starts. What, if, start what if the Overwatch League pulls more viewers its first day than the AAF? I press X to doubt. Did. Wow. Di- that's sick. That's mean. a gamer <laughs> reference. Sick <laughs> meme. We're in high school right now. <laughs> hey, uh, Blaine, why don't you take a hike for <laughs> Well, yeah. All that uh, tune in. Tune in in two months when we start our new podcast, Sort of Stupid Gaming. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And turn in next week when Blaine gets back from his hike. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Uh, well, I am going to Blaine. Go take a hike. <laughs> All right. I think that about does it. Yeah, not anyway. much as else is going on in sports. Short so. episode this week. Yeah. Enjoy it. Thanks for listening to the Sort of Stupid Sports uh, Podcast. Thanks for listening to the Woo! Sort of Stupid Sports uh, Podcast. Next, I'm Blaine Smith, and this is Troy trying to say something. I'm just trying to spoil everybody know that uh, next week, for my uh, my two fans out there, my mom and my dad. <laughs> <laughs> my parents don't even I mean, full, full episode. Full episode for me. Oh, uh, <laughs> you'll be here. Okay. Uh, we'll have to talk more Glad about to have you back. the trade deadline and uh, maybe baseball. And the AAF. Give yeah. up baseball predictions. Oh, baseball predictions, and maybe someone will finally sign no, to a team. No, probably not. Don't even say they're all going to the Yankees. Bryce Harper's going to the Yankees. <laughs> <laughs> He's not. No, that's more. Right. Right. And that's it. Thanks for listening. Later.